Hey guys, check it out. It's our first snow of the year, and this is a video I've been dying to do. This is our Land Rover Discovery, a 2004, the last year of the Disco 2, and we've been dying to see how this thing does in the snow. And, uh, well, this is our first real opportunity because we've had our first snowstorm here in Colorado. Tommy's doing all the heavy lifting. He's doing all the scraping, and what we have is, of course, these Wrangler Durotrax on here, which are great off-road tires, but I'm not sure how good they are in the snow. In the past, we found that these kind of trucky tires tend to do really well. They've got these little sipes, you can see right there, that hopefully cut in the snow. Tommy, tell them what kind of all-wheel drive system this has. Well, it's permanent four-wheel drive. Okay, make that a permanent four-wheel drive system this has. Yeah, so you can't select two-wheel drive, so it's always been four-wheel drive. And then it has traction control and ABS and, and that stuff, but it doesn't have stability control. It's got one of the very first forms of traction control, right? Yeah, pretty early form. Yeah, I think the Freelander had the first form? No, that's a hill descent control. Okay. Um, I, I'm not actually sure, man. It's a good thing for you guys to tell me. What's the first vehicle with traction control? Yeah. So th this is one of the first ones that had hill descent control. Yep. It also has a heated windshield, which is, uh, well, let's see if we can show you the lines here. I don't know if you can see them, but there are these little lines that run throughout the windshield that actually heat up the entire windshield. Some people hate that because what it does is it uh, gives you kind of a, a squirrely weight sometimes if you look at the windshield wrong to see through it. Yep. So what do you think? Are we ready to give it our first snow test? Sure. Let's go try it. Let's go try it. You drive. Oh, God. I don't have gloves on. Oh, no snow fell in the truck. That's always good. All right, uh, it's a little cold in here, dude. Yeah, probably. Huh? Not probably. What do you mean probably? Definitely. <laughs> You're a little grumpy, Tommy. No, I'm good. You're a little grumpy. Are you grumpy because I made you do the snow? This is cold out here. <laughs> All right, so let's start this bad boy up. All right, we have to go. The other weird thing about this is um, you can have your temperature on the inside, or you can have your temperature on the outside, but you can't have both. So we've got it set to 68 inside, and it is 29 degrees outside. And hopefully, if we go that, that turns on the rear defroster and the front defroster. Now, here is our um, center diff lock, and this is kind of interesting. Why don't you tell them about that, Tommy? Well, it's um, it's got a high range and then neutral and then a low range. And then it's got a center diff lock, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that unlocked for now, actually. Yeah, but what makes it interesting in the 24 model? Well, 2004, they brought it back, because all the Disco 1s had it. Um, and then in 2004, they brought it back. Yeah, but there was, you're still missing the interesting part, right? Well, there were certain model years of Disco 2s that had the diff lock, but they didn't have the ability to actuate it. Yeah, um, so they had the actual diff lock built into the into the uh, transfer case powertrain right but yep. there was no knob to actually turn it on and that's yeah. because they figured that the traction control was enough yeah they would rely all on that um, okay so it started that's always good that's always good we've got the heated windshield on let me put my seatbelt on all right and let's let's take it right up into the mountains huh yeah we'll go, go uh, let's see, and you tell me how it drives yeah okay so drive yeah so far, so good. We're moving. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> um, it kind of all is starting to melt down here, though. Yeah, it's getting a little uh, melty. I think by uh, the end of the week, they're saying it's supposed to be back into the 50s and 60s. That's kind of a Colorado thing, right? It right. snows, and then a few days later, it's uh, much nicer. So let's head up and see how uh, it drives. Can you tell any difference yet? No. No? No, the guys in northern Canada are probably like, that's not snow. That's yeah. That's dusting. Yeah, but keep in mind, it's only October. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this is the first snow. You're not going to expect to be, like, snowed in in October. Hopefully not. Well, some places I suppose you could be. Yeah, it feels exactly the same. I have to say, um, the heat's coming on pretty quickly. One of the things that these... Landy's have an issue with is overheating, so we've got a little uh, thermostat set up right there. Yeah. Uh, that tells you. Uh, well, already Go somebody. Camaro. Camaro <laughs> already. Somebody got stuck in the Camaro. <laughs> I think bad day to be in a Camaro with summer tires. <laughs> How about if we go over here? Is it? No, this is not the next one. I think there's a road. Now we're getting a little snow. Look at that. Yeah, a little bit of snow here. Yeah, there should be a little dirt road here. 
Let's see if it's open. It was closed last time. Yeah, it's open. That one should have a lot of snow on it because it's a little dirt road that doesn't actually go anywhere. Yeah, let's go see. Let us go see. Oh yeah, yeah. Now we're getting into some snow. Not many people have come through here. Let's see how the brakes are right. Yeah, now. give the give the brakes a shot. What do you think? They are not very good. No, what's the brakes like? Just, here, hold on, hold on. You stop. Get it's it. too heavy. Get in the snow and you accelerate and see. Let's see how it does. Okay. Okay. Get, make sure you're in the snowy part though. All right. I want to see. All right. Hold on. All right. Well, that was weird. <laughs> First the front wheel spun, and then the rear wheel spun, and then the car took off really well. So, uh, we'll see what Tommy thinks when we get in the vehicle, how, how, how it's doing. Hey, that was pretty weird. Like first the front wheel spun, yeah. and then the rear wheel spun, yeah, and, the traction control. and then you took off. Is that what happened? Yeah, because I don't have the diff lock. Well, let's try it with the diff lock. Okay. And then we'll do it one more time. Let's see what it's like. Okay, hold on. I'll give you a thumbs up when I'm ready. All right. Attempt number two with diff lock. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, both of them went off. I wonder which one was better. Let's go find out. I don't want to go into that tree because I'm going to get snowed on. I'm going to get really dumped on with my luck. That was much different. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could see that both... Uh... Look, your windshield's starting to defrost here. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, so that heated windshield is working. Yeah, maybe a little bit. A little, well, a little bit. That's still pretty hard. Yeah. Well, guys... There you have it. What do you think, Tommy? How is it? Is it a good snow vehicle or...? Yeah, I think it's a pretty good snow vehicle. Yeah? Um, I think you have to be careful of the brakes because it's really heavy. So what happens is when you hit the brakes, it just goes skidding down the road? I mean, it stops, but it's, uh, you know, it's... Uh... All right, here. I'm going to go up there. Yeah. Now let's do a brake test, okay? okay? Can you come at me and then hit the brake hard and we'll see what it does. All right, brake test in the snow of the new Land Rover Risco rescue rig see how it is when he hits the brakes give him a chance to speed up and we've got about you can see we got about two or three inches here so uh it's pretty snowy i mean you know for you floridians <laughs> this is a pretty big snowstorm for us coloradoans yeah it's okay all right i'm gonna give him the thumbs up let's see how it does Whoa, he went sideways there. Interesting. A little bit of skidding. You went sideways when you took off. Yeah, it sounds pretty good there. That was good. And of course, a lot of this is a test of tires, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Not, not so much a test of the vehicle, but a test of how the tires do. Well, actually, traction control and ABS are all doing their jobs. So. Yeah? That's a good thing. So the big question is, is this still a TFL rescue rig? Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's, yeah? it's pretty good. It's oh yeah, look at all it's still coming off the wheel here. It's really cool, actually. <laughs> We're getting into some of the deeper stuff. A little bit deeper here. Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, these tires are relatively new-ish. Ish. 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 But, you know. Yeah, it's, it's they're pretty, not. I mean, they're not amazing in the snow. They're dirt tracks. Yeah, they're not, they're not exactly like all-out snow tires, but for a heavy rig, do you feel confident? Do you feel like you're doing okay? I do, yeah, especially it's a lot better with the diff locks. So it does make a difference. Yeah, it does for sure, because the gauge is four-wheel drive permanently, right? Yeah. Versus unlock, where you could theoretically have all the power going to one wheel. Now that's kind of distributed among both axles. But I noticed that when you took off, it did go sideways a little bit. Well, sure, but it's because we were on a hill. Yeah, yeah. Well, guys, uh, this has been a first snow in Colorado. As you can tell, we're going to do a lot more. Tommy, you're going to do a video with this this week. What are you going to do? There's a lot of cool, kind of quirky and weird stuff about this. Yeah, we're going to go over the uh, all the interesting, weird features you, you may not have known about in the Land Rover Discovery 2. 
So be sure to stay tuned for that video because that's going to be up on TFL Truck. All right, guys, as always, this is Roman. And Tommy, we'll see you guys next time right here on the Fast Lane now. Look at this. It's a winter wonderland. How cool is that? See you guys next time. Ciao.